Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. Mama's got your back, at least when makeup's concerned and definitely when that makeup is cheap. Today is New Makeup Monday. We've got lots of stuff to go over. Before we get started, a very special, very warm welcome to any of those that are new to my channel. I am so incredibly happy that you are here. If you enjoy the content, I do so hope that you will mash that thumbs up button. I hope that you will subscribe if you have not already. And I hope that you will ring my bell, turn on your notifications, so that way, next time I upload a video, you can come right back here and we can hang out together again. Also, my makeup is done already. It turned out so freaking adorable today. I feel like I feel cute as a button and I am so in love with it. I used the Rude Cosmetics City of Neon Lights palette. Uh, this is one of the oldest palettes in my collection. It is such a good one. Really affordable as well. If you don't know Rude Cosmetics, they are a fairly affordable brand. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive than drugstore but definitely, like, definitely affordably and fairly priced. Uh, they're very artistry driven. They've got lots of really fun products to play with. They're focused on color and texture, and it's just a really, really fun brand. Definitely one that I would like to, to explore just a little bit more, but this palette is has been one of my favorites uh, for a very, very long time. I just think this color story is absolutely divine. I, of course, did do a TikTok on today's eye look if you are interested. I'll make sure to put the tag for that as well as all of my other socials in the description box below. Guys, if you are not following me on all my other platforms, you definitely should go do that. I post fun content literally every single day. And if you're following me everywhere, you don't have to worry about missing a single moment of it. Okay, let's dive right in to the new goodness for today's video. I have actually a bunch of kind of mix match stuff to talk about, so it should be a good, interesting video. The first thing I wanna talk about is this thing right here. So this is a, something I've never spoken about before. I don't usually talk too awful much about shower products, but this I just am in so in love with. I just had to talk, to, I had to share it with you guys. So this is the Spongel Super Buffer. This comes in a bunch of different scents and things like that. Uh, this one is for men. I get this one for Mr. Hubby, but I use it too. I think it smells absolutely wonderful. This is Verbena Absolute, I believe. Yeah, Verbena Absolute. So it smells very clean and citrusy. It's got a, it's got more of a unisex smell to me than it does like super manly. It smells wonderful on my husband. Uh, my son uses it as well. Uh, I use this. Uh, it is they're just really really good. Now I used to use a loofah. There is something about the way a loofah lathers up soap. It just feels so rich and thick and luxurious on the body. It just kind of like envelops you in this silky cocoon of foamed up soap. And it's really kind of fabulous. However, uh, I, it, I just didn't feel like it got me clean enough, right? I didn't feel like it was exfoliating my body. I didn't feel like it was really deep cleaning. It just isn't the same as scrubbing yourself with a washcloth. So I was trying to find something that was going to kind of like bridge the gap between a washcloth and a loofah. And also I experience I have quite a bit of KP on the back of my arms. I also experience it a little bit about uh, around my knees and my ankles as well. So I was looking for something that was really going to help to smooth and soften my skin, help to exfoliate me. Uh, and then I received one of these in my BoxyCharm one month. And when I received it the first time, I was really just not enthused about it at all whatsoever. I was really actually kind of let down. I was like, what, you know, like, why do, why do I need a, a sponge? However, I opened it up and I used it and it smells divine. They feel really great. Uh, I like these ones, the super buffers, the best because they're so exfoliating. But they're not exfoliating in a way <clears throat> that is like rough or scratchy. They just really just smooth out and like they just get all the dead stuff off. They make your skin feel so silky and soft and smooth. And the thing that I like the most about these is that it's free of all kinds of skin irritants. There's no phthalates. There's no, uh, it's just really, really good. It's good for you. It's got, uh, it's good for all skin types. It's vegan. It's cruelty free, uh, paraben free, phthalate free. 
phthalate free. There's just, it's a really, really nice sponge. Uh, it also, if you've never used a sponge gel product before, basically what it is, is a big old sponge that is soaked in soap and then you just kind of like get it wet a little bit uh, and squeeze it under the water and it lathers up beautifully just like a loofah, but it has a really gorgeous kind of like uh, texture to it that really gets on the skin and just really exfoliates and buffs all that dead skin away. I tell you what, I have never felt cleaner. I have never felt softer and smoother since I found these and they smell so good. They have ones that have those aromatherapy kind of vibes to them that smell fantastic. They are just a little bit expensive. They're $11.99, but I tell you what, one of these will last me, I don't know, like a month, two months, uh, not two months, but it'll last me a month, uh, a month of really good showers. And also once the soap runs out of these, I like to take a good sugar scrub or salt scrub and really get it in there because the, the sponge itself doesn't get dirty. It just runs out of, as long as you keep it clean, the sponge itself is still fine. It just runs out of soap. So I like to add a, a sugar scrub or a salt scrub in there. And it really like, because it's got all those uh, nooks and crannies, it really holds on to that sugar scrub and you get double the exfoliating power. They're so good. I love these. I have my husband hooked on him. I have my son hooked on him. I have my sister hooked on him. I actually just got these in the, in the mail today and my cousin stopped over and I gave him one of them. He's gonna be hooked on them as well. Uh, I usually pick these up in the BoxyCharm drop shop. Uh, they're around $11, $12 originally, but usually on the box on the drop shop, you can get them anywhere from three to $5, which is a really nice big price cut. These are fantastic. They're so, so good. Uh, I highly, highly recommend these. And even if you don't like, you know, like this manlier scent, uh, they have a bunch of different scents and they also have like different shapes. So this one is just like a big hockey puck, but they also have like little flowers. They're shaped like little, uh, like little flowers. Super, super cute. My son prefers the flower ones, but I prefer the big ones just because I feel like I can, I can get a better hold on them, but they're so, so good. They're absolutely wonderful. I picked up a highlighting palette when I was on Amazon, when I placed my last Amazon order. This is the Insfini, uh, four color crystal clay highlight palette. Uh, so this is the packaging that it comes in. Insfini is, it's an Amazon brand, but I believe it's like K Beauty. Uh, it's it's somewhere, it's over there. I don't know if it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's Korean beauty. Whoop. Which one is this? Made in China. So it says it's made in China, uh, but it is is an Asian makeup brand. So I picked up this highlighting palette. This is the Insfini four color crystal clay highlighting palette. I was just looking for, basically what I was looking for was really pretty glittery eyeshadow toppers. Uh, I have a couple of really beautiful glittery toppers, but I was looking for something that was a little bit more colorful, but I also wanted something that was super sheer. So that way it was just going to be like a really pretty uh, light topper for my eyes. And this is definitely that. Uh, so this goes for $8.99. This is the unicarton that it comes in. And then this is the actual packaging. So you get four different pans. Uh, this is definitely to me more of an eyeshadow quad than it is a highlighting palette. Uh, they are pretty standard eyeshadow sized pans but packaging is super cute, very, very thin, easy to store, easy to like if you wanted to travel with it. Uh, I've dropped this a million and one different times, so it is really safe as well. I do feel like this would be very, very travel friendly. You open it up and you get four of the most beautiful glittery sheer topper colors. So you have a purple, a blue, a pink, and a yellow. I'm wearing the yellow one today. Can we take a moment for my eye look today? Just how adorable is it? I just love the way that it turned out. This was not what I was going for, but sometimes, you know, the Lord has a plan and you just got to go where your brush takes you. But uh, I have this yellow one on today, and these are very dimensional. They're very, very glittery, but they're, they're so sheer. Can you see that? They're so sheer and so pretty. They just give, and this one is yellow, has a yellow base, but it has green kind of micro glitters in it. And then you have the pink one. And the pink one is just as beautiful. This one is pink, but it's got a little bit of a purple kind of iridescence, duochromatic kind of thing to it. Very, very pretty. Can you see just how pretty that is? And then we have the blue one. The blue one might be my favorite one in the entire palette. 
They're just, you see, it's got a little bit of a blue and a purple and a pink flip to it. Super pretty. My camera is not going to show the flips uh, and the color shifts as well as I wish that it would, but they're absolutely stunning. This pink one is divine. They're just pretty. They are basically just a very sheer, very light wash of color. It is very in tune with like K makeup, K beauty. Everything is about that very sheer kind of glittery wash of color. That is exactly what this is. I also have a little bit of this yellow one on as a highlight today. It is stunning. These are beautiful. I've been wearing it all day. I haven't experienced any kind of fallout. Makeup looks fantastic. These are just really, really adorable. I think the packaging is really nice. It's got a magnetic closure on it as well. Just really nice quality. Uh, Insfini is one of those brands as well as Langmani that I just really enjoy. Insfini more so for highlighters, Langmani more so for glitter, but these are just so, so good. I also have a couple of Insfini eyeshadow palettes and these are they're sold as highlight palettes as well, but they're more of like eyeshadow things. I have talked about these before, but it's the same brand. So this one is the more neutral palette. And then I also have a super gorgeous, bright kind of look at these colors. They're just absolutely insane to me. They're so, so pretty. The quality of these is really, really gorgeous. Very pigmented. Uh, these blues are this pink one. It's just insanely gorgeous. And they all have that kind of iridescence, that little bit of sheerness to them, that little bit of duochromatic, just yummy goodness. They all have a little bit of that glitter to them. They just look so, so pretty. Uh, like this purple one right here, like is just insanely gorgeous. Can you see that? how pretty that is. These are just stunning, like stupidly pretty. They're all really affordable as well. If you're looking for really gorgeous kind of like sheer topper shades, I feel like you would really, really enjoy these. This one is a really gorgeous like pinky blue icy shade. Anyway, they're all stunning, really, really affordable as well. Uh, none of them are like over yeah, this one was, uh, this one was $8.99. These ones were, I think around $10. They're not super expensive, but if you're looking for something that's like sheer and just a really pretty wash of color, that's going to give you just a little something, something with a little bit of a duochromatic finish. These are so, so nice. They're so, so good. Packaging is really fantastic as well. If you're a neutral lover, I think this one is just going to be absolutely everything. They're so glittery and so gorgeous. They have that perfect amount, uh, that perfect balance of pigment and like reflect to them. So they go on and they just look so beautiful. Even this just kind of dotted over. I'm gonna take a little bit of that shade. Just kind of dot it right in the center. And it just adds a little bit of something extra without taking away from the color and pigment that you already got going on. They're just really pretty. I have enjoyed this brand immensely. Everything I pick up from this brand has been good. The quality is pretty consistent across the board. They're so, so good. So if you're looking for something pretty and shimmery and glittery, definitely check out those Amazon brands. They're so, so, they're so, so yummy. Uh, I want to talk about a couple of eyeshadow palettes because this week is just like I've been diving into some new eyeshadow palettes. Uh, ColourPop is having a well, they're having a Labor Day sale and then also like an end of summer sale as well. So everything on the website is around 30% off at the moment. Uh, so I went and I picked up a couple of different palettes. I picked up the Sage the Day palette. This one right here. I actually did a look with this one not too long ago. It is so nice. This is the standard ColourPop uh, formula, standard ColourPop uh quality, super nice, easy to work with, pigmented, blends well. I really enjoyed playing with this palette. I think the colors across the board are really gorgeous. There is a duochrome in here. Uh, this is like a green to brown duochrome. Look how gorgeous and metallic that is. It looks stunning, absolutely gorgeous. It goes from green to brown. You guys can see the brown once it's blended out just a little bit. It's beautiful. I think the lighter shimmers in here are really pretty as well. Yeah, so really, really happy with these gorgeous, gorgeous palettes. I think this is going to be perfect, especially as we move into fall and winter. Colors like this are like so, like quintessentially 
fall for me. I love a good olive army green moment, especially in the fall going into winter. So perfect and so seasonally appropriate. I also picked up the Star Wars C3PO palette from ColourPop. This is absolutely gorgeous. I picked this up. I've wanted this palette since it was released, uh, but I just kind of was like humming and hawing over it because I didn't want to spend the money. Uh, these are $14. Originally, I was able to pick them up for $9 a piece that's a dollar a pan was like definitely worth it to pay for a dollar a pan I cannot I can't pass that up so I picked up these ones I picked up a couple more as well uh, some of them are going to be going into a giveaway also I do have a giveaway going on at the moment make sure you check out my giveaway video I think it was the last video of last week so the one before this definitely go check that one out uh, make sure you like the video and leave a comment so that you're entered into it uh, giveaway ends on the 10th of October to September on the 10th of September but this the C3PO palette is just ridiculously beautiful full of all kinds of really gorgeous like sumptuous golden tones really really stunning and the the shimmer formula like the metallic formula in this one they remind me very much I think it's the super shock formula because they have a really great creamy butter butteriness to them they just kind of glide onto the lid really really stunning I like, oh, this one is like a straight up cream formula. This one is just insanely, insanely, ridiculously gorgeous. Yeah, like stupidly pretty. So we all love ColourPop. ColourPop is, you know, daddy is, we love you. ColourPop, you're amazing. You're, yes. So for nine bucks a piece, I don't think you can beat it. Uh, they're so, so good. I hadn't placed a ColourPop order and I want to say at least six months uh the last time i ordered anything from color pop you know what it's been almost a year at this point because the last time i ordered from from them i ordered the hocus pocus 2 palette uh because they had a special going on as long as you purchased one thing from the collection they sent you the last year's palette for free <laughs> better believe i jumped on that one uh but yeah i, I love color pop the only thing i'm not a big fan of is that their shipping takes absolutely forever and their customer service is not great also while we're on the subject of customer service i have a juvia's place product i want to talk about and the reason i say that is because juvia's place has the worst customer service i have ever experienced in my life i placed an order i want to say probably four four months ago now uh and i placed an order for four palettes and this cleansing balm now i received three palettes and the cleansing balm but i had ordered the chocolate shop palette and it was missing from my order i have e i emailed them every single day for two months every single day for two months and never got a single word and i was polite i was not rude because i'm not a rude person i was very polite just kind of actually got to the point of begging someone to please answer me just please even if you just told me to, to like uh, go lay in a ditch somewhere just please answer me i could not get anybody to answer my email or to contact me in any way shape or form uh and i again i like i said i am emailed them every single day for two months i don't know what happened with that whole situation it was very very frustrating but because of that i am terrified to place an order through their online uh thing like ever again because now i know that if something is missing from my order they don't care they're not they're not going to contact me they're not going to give me my money back they're not going to try to work with me that money is basically just gone and i'm not going to go to my bank and i'm not going to do like a a chargeback or whatever that's called i'm not going to stop payment on it because i got most of my order i was just missing one pallet so i just kind of took it for a loss which really really bothers me because it was like 13 14 dollars but Anyway, uh, in that same order, I ordered this stuff. This is the Juvia's Place Let's Melt It Off Cleansing Balm. First of all, packaging, 10 out of 10. I adore this color. It's like this really beautiful, like yellowy orange color. It looks stunning. It is heavy and feels good. It feels luxurious in the hand. You get 1.5 ounces of product in here, a good amount of product. Uh, and this is supposed to be a cleansing balm that goes on. It's not going to clog your pores. It's not going to dry out your skin. You guys know I am a dried up dusty old mummy. So anything that's going to hydrate me is, you know, a good thing. This is supposed to have vitamin E and mango oil and but mango butter in it. All kinds of really good stuff for your skin. However, this thing is really expensive. It's $18 for 1.5 ounces of product. And you guys already know that I am comparing this to my e.l.f. 
Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Balm. It is my number one favorite of all time. You get two full fluid ounces of that for $10, uh, $10, $11. So you're getting more product for a more affordable price. On top of that, I think the e.l.f. still works better. I have tried so many different makeup melting balms at this point. I think I've tried at least seven or eight of them at this point, and nothing comes close to the way that my e.l.f. works. This is really good. Like, it gets the makeup off, but there is just something about this that is so thick, and it is, it, it doesn't, it's not as emollient it's not as like movable and mobile on the face so when I use this it doesn't melt into my skin like the elf one does like I use the elf one and it instantly melts down and it just kind of instantly the minute it touches my face it just starts to break all of my makeup down and you know it's just kind of like rub a dub dub and you're done however when I use this stuff it smells divine it's got a really gorgeous like light fruity scent to it uh, it feels really wonderful you can tell it's got moisturizing uh, components in there because it does feel like it's got a really rich oily kind of quality to it however it just doesn't melt as well it stays sticky it tugs on my skin so much it doesn't break down my waterproof eye makeup my waterproof mascara i wear waterproof mascara literally every single day because my eyes run like faucets uh, and if i didn't i would just look like a sad clown all the time and my elf doesn't have a problem not a single problem melting even the even the toughest of my waterproof mascaras the elf just kind of eats through it in a heartbeat this stuff however just it just doesn't it doesn't do it it does eventually but it takes a lot of rubbing it takes a lot of tugging my eyes are are always sore afterwards uh just because i really have to rub at my eyes and really like work it in to the mascara to get it to come off of my eyelids which really really bothers me on top of that, this stings the crap out of my eyeballs. The e.l.f., I can sit there and I can like, I could literally rub it onto my eyeball if I wanted to and never have like that uh, watery eye, stingy, burny sensation. This, however, if I get the tiniest bit of it into my eye, it burns. It burns so, so badly. And I don't know what is in here that makes that happen, but this is just, it is so much more expensive. You get uh, a quarter less product uh, for like four more dollars. I don't think this is worth it. Packaging is a lot better than the e.l.f. one. I will say that. I do enjoy this packaging quite a bit more, but uh, I won't be repurchasing it. For $18, I think that there are much better cleansing balms out on the market. However, I just think that the e.l.f. one is the end-all, beat-all. Like, it is the absolute best makeup melting balm I have used to date. It is so good. It's so affordable. It lasts absolutely forever because you need the smallest amount of it. I've only used this, I want to say... I've only used this, I want to say, maybe three or four times at this point, and that's how much is gone. Uh, when it comes to my e.l.f. one, I really just have to use, like, a pea-sized amount. Well, maybe, like, a grape size. Maybe not even a whole grape size. Anyway, I have to use the smallest amount of it, and it gets all of my stuff off with no leftover, like, no residue. And it doesn't, like, leave my face feeling gross and, like, greasy wipe it down with a makeup eraser and it's like gone you feel fresh you feel clean and you're good to go to bed whereas when i use this one it just kind of leaves a film on my face i don't feel clean uh i wake up the next morning and i still you know you when you, when you don't remove your mascara well enough you wake up the next morning and you've got those smudges under your eyes there has not been a time that i have used this that i didn't wake up the next morning with raccoon eyes and that really really bothers me because i do not like sleeping in my makeup like that it's just really bad for your skin and it's bad for your eyes as well so yeah i'm not impressed with this at all i have okay so i picked up a highlighter uh this is the iby sunkissed glow highlight this i picked up from again the boxy charm drop shop this is just a mini teeny tiny little highlighter i paid three bucks for it i thought the packaging was super cute so I just went for it and boy oh boy am I so glad that I did so it is the teeniest tiniest most adorable little highlighter that you ever did see this is the uh sun-kissed glow highlighter in the shade Maldives oh it's it's so good so I put a little bit of that Insfinny on but this is what's underneath it it is stunning so this is what I have on my nose today and on my forehead and my chin it just gives you the most gorgeous kind of glow it is 
very, very buildable. So you can go in and do something that is really like glowy and, you know, just like barely there, gentle kind of glow, but then you can really build it up and it just can be so bright and so blinding. I love the tone of it as well. That's an absolutely terrible swatch. Absolutely terrible swatch. Let's do, let's do right here. There we go. So there, there it is. Look how pretty and look how smooth it is. It just goes on and it just is so, so pretty and glowy. It is super smooth. It's not chunky or glittery in any way. Just goes on and gives you a really gorgeous, smooth kind of glow. I really, really like this. You're not getting a ton of product in here. Uh, it is teeny, teeny, tiny. Uh, full price, this goes for $8. It is still available on the IBY website if you are interested. I, of course, got mine off the BoxyCharm drop shop. It was three bucks. I think it's worth three bucks all day, every day. Uh, I just think that color is so, so beautiful. It is a very, very slight kind of rosy champagne tone. Looks beautiful on my skin tone. I am very, very, very happy with that. Look how smooth and gorgeous and glowy that is. This is so, so nice. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really happy. And look how adorable the packaging is. It's so tiny and cute. I love it so, so very much. All right, babes. Last but not least, I want to talk about... This one right here. This is the Morphe Fierce Fairy Tale. This palette just kind of blew my mind. I love this thing so, so very much. Uh, I've been playing with it. I've had it since, I want to say since the beginning of summer. I bought this while I was on vacation. Uh, technically, it was during my no-buy, but there was a little bit of an exception made because I was on vacation. Uh, but very, very happy with this palette really great quality. Uh, I used this the other day to do a really gorgeous kind of like space age uh, kind of eye look. I'll pop a picture up of it, but it was so, so pretty. Had a blast using this. I think the shimmers in here are really, really beautiful. They're super like, they're very, they're smooth. They're very smooth and buttery and, a, and just a little bit like, I don't even know the word that I'm really looking for, but they're just smooth and beautifully pigmented. So you have shades that are fully opaque like that, but then you also have shades that are really gorgeous and sheer and make really pretty topper colors. They're just pretty. I love the tones in here. The oranges are really gorgeous. The pinks are stunning. Yeah, just really happy overall uh, with this palette, really gorgeous one. Now it's no longer available on the Morphe website, but you can still get this on Amazon. You can find it at your TJ Maxx, Marshalls, things like that. Uh, originally, this palette was around $30, but I got mine for $10, uh, so definitely worth it at $10. It's available on Amazon for around $25 if you want to go check it out. Such a good one. I love the packaging as well. The only thing that makes me sad is that there were a there was a pack, uh, a trio of lipsticks that was released with this palette, and it was like yellow, pink, and purple. And I wanted them so so badly, and was never able to pick them up. So that makes me really sad. But I will uh, consult console myself uh, with the palette and be uh, I'll be all right because this is such a pretty palette. I just can't be mad about it. Anyway, guys, that is about it for this week's New Makeup Monday. Uh, you know, sweet and simple. We got through it pretty quickly. I didn't have a ton to talk about. Uh, I think my favorite thing out of the video is definitely going to be my sponge. And then I also really, really, uh, you know, I, uh unexpectedly I actually really enjoy this highlight I think it's really really gorgeous uh I think that the the palettes are stunning really really pretty I like everything uh the only thing that I definitely would not recommend is this cleansing balm just not good at all there's definitely better for a better price out there yeah, that's going to do it, babes. As always, I will list everything I talked about in today's video in the description box below, along with all the text, all my other socials. You know the drill. Guys, I love you so, so very much. As always, no filters, no fancy lighting. It's just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with some new makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.